Reading, a town with big traffic headaches, a multicultural community and a rather unique status. Reading's something of a rarity in the south. It's a Labour stronghold and it's been that way for over 20 years. But in the past four years, there's been a 4% swing over to the Conservatives. Some predict that swing is just going to get bigger. The town's football club's fighting for Premiership survival. But at the Medeski Stadium, there's another showdown taking place. Re-election candidates are training for the big match. Here's our commentator, Tony Husband. Thanks, Danielle. Well, on the field this week, Councillor David Sutton, a left-winger defending his seat. He captains both Labour and the council. Coming down the right wing on the attack is would-be councillor Jamie Chowdhury, a local lad with a business background. Glenn Goodall's also in an attacking position, but playing down the middle of the park. A new signing with youth on his side at 29. How will they fare in the Team Talk Challenge? 25 seconds to win over the voters. The ref's known to be a bit strict though, they'll have to stick to the rules. First up to the spot is Goodall, looking a little nervous. Okay, so I'm a keen cyclist, I'd quite like um, more integration of all the, the uh, cycle paths around Reading, uh, because at the moment it's not very obvious, um, and when you're on the path, cars cut you up because they think you shouldn't be there. When you're on the path, people jeer at you because you know they don't think you should be there as well um so that's you know my prime thing and also uh theft theft of cut of, of bikes is, is skyrocketing um so we def definitely need to address that um there's hmos oh is it already finished no way that's it. Oh. Time's up. didn't he do well <laughs> cycle routes and housing his top priorities next to the spot david sutton an experienced performer Labour's three key messages are vision, value and fairness. We have a vision to take Reading forward into the 21st century. We offer value for money and uh, sound finance with a council tax increase of just 1.9% and we offer fairness, social equality, uh, anti-racism and a commitment to social care for all people who need it in Reading. He beat the clock on the ball. Key message, this is a local election about local issues. Finally, it's Jamie Chowdhury. I've grown up in this town and I'm very compassionate, I'm very passionate about how things are handled. Um, there's traffic issues, there's, a, uh, there's issues coming up with the downturn in economy and that's going to affect um, people and their mortgages and, and that is a concern on the doorstep. Um, and I think our party is able to address all those problems. Again, he beat the clock with a record time, firing home his point, traffic and finance are priorities in only 20 seconds. Campaigning's well underway and their performances are being carefully analysed by the Reading Evening Post's Linda Fort. They've been working extremely hard and I know that the Conservatives have been canvassing in wards where they've never ever bothered to canvass before because they didn't think in the past that they'd have a hope of winning. They're working extraordinarily hard. Um, there are some very key wards like um, Park Ward where even the Green candidate thinks he stands a chance of winning. So there's a tremendous amount of activity, a certain amount of nastiness going on and it's, it's all getting very busy. So what tactics are our candidates using to make sure they're on the winning side? The Lib Dems are fielding a young team with seven would-be councillors under 30. Hopefully by getting my, you know, young people involved, um, we can actually you know, make a difference. You get a, a different perspective. You have uh, people that are seeing things in a different way to maybe people that have been in the council and stuck in their ways the whole time. Um, we've also we've had a Labour council for quite some time now and they're basically getting um, almost arrogant in their position. What we have to do is to dissociate the voters from the, the national situation, basically. We have to say there are good reasons, local reasons, to vote Labour in Reading. This isn't an election about Iraq. It isn't an election even about the national economy. It's an election about which is the best party to be running Reading. Well, we don't have any tactics. We just want them to judge uh, as, as what, uh, according to what they see. Um, we think that we have the right policies in place. We've been in opposition for some time now and we know what's required in this town. Um, they've already seen things that have gone very badly wrong that need addressing. Uh, for example, we've got serious traffic problems that should really have been addressed a long time ago. May the 1st will reveal just how resilient this Labour stronghold is. It's said unpopular ideas for Reading's Ring Road cost them votes last time round. And at the end of the day, they may have to get used to sharing power and glory.
Well, there's some hard campaigning going on there in Reading then and lots of local issues to galvanise the electorate and maybe lure them to the ballot boxes. But and remember this, our Team Talk Challenge in Reading. 25 seconds to win over the voters. Yes. The ref's known to be a bit strict though. OK, so... How did the candidates get on? The, the uh, cycle pass around Reading. The young Liberal Democrat signing Glenn Goodall won his seat. Tory Jamie Chowdhury is another success story. And we offer fairness, social equality. But after more than a decade on the council, leader David Sutton is voted out. After 22 years in power, Labour no longer controls Reading. They gained seats on only one council in the south. Most suffered losses. Their colour may be red, but the elections do not paint a rosy picture for the party at all.